today we're gonna have a look at how you can make your own custom Fortnite props inside UFN which is super important so they can actually interact with the world that you're creating and use devices to create gameplay inside UFN. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so let me actually show you what it means to create a Fortnite prop and why it is super important. So you can see we are right here in the Unreal Editor. All right, so for example, we imported three custom meshes. We have a Batmobile, we have Columbo, and we have a stone. But all of these, as you can see, we go down here, these are just static meshes. These are not Fortnite props and they do not interact with the Fortnite devices which we need to create gameplay. But to explain what a Fortnite prop exactly is and why it's so important, we're gonna quickly go actually in-game to the actual launcher. So the actual Fortnite Creative 1.0, you can say. So if we're in here, we see we have obviously the same thing that we have in the launcher. We have Columbo, we have the Batmobile, and we have this stone. I also added inside creative this little stone here, which is an actual Fortnite prop. So none of these besides obviously Columbo existed in Fortnite before. These are all custom imported assets. And uh, if I punch, and if for example punch this rock, you can see that we can get materials. It interacts with the Fortnite character. But if we do that with any of these other ones, like for example this one, I just get blocked. And obviously the same would happen with Columbo and the Batmobile. And also important that you cannot, for example, pick them up with your creative phone. I can do this with this one, I can duplicate it, I can scale it up, and I can do whatever I want inside creative. But the most important thing is because we can technically do all of this in the editor, this is not super important to us. We can attach devices and destroy the props with the Fortnite character. We cannot do that with the Columbo or the other rocks here. So for example, if we take the prop manipulator over here, here, which is a great tool to manipulate pops and send signals for example that uh, the, the the prop got destroyed or something we can interact it you can see it's green here it does uh, attach to it if we do that with all the other ones it doesn't do anything with that which is obviously fantastic because then we can actually send signals for example if it got destroyed and then create gameplay with that. So now I converted the stone into a Fortnite prop as well. And now you can see that we can also pick it up. We can place it multiple times. And more importantly, we can attach devices to it and use it as Fortnite gameplay. For this, we're gonna go back to an editor and trust me guys, this is super easy. The only thing that is obviously hindering you then is your creativity and how you want to use it. So the first thing that we have to do is obviously we want to have a prop in our world. So we already have three. So in our case, we're gonna convert Columbo in this time. So we're gonna open our content drawer over here. So we're gonna click down here and then we're going to right click on an empty space it doesn't have to be anywhere specifically we're going to right click and we just select a blueprint class this is basically one of the only things that is left from blueprints inside ufn uh, we're going to open it up and then you will be greeted with this little window here we don't care about these here these doesn't matter right now and we want to select a building prop here and this will basically give us a blueprint class to create a fortnite prop then we can obviously give it a name which we can recognize and once we have the blueprint class we can open it up and we will be greeted with a window here. So this looks also a little bit confusing to some of you guys, but the important thing is that we click on this first line over here, and then we're gonna look for the option static mesh. So you can either find it down here, or you can obviously type it in uh, on the top bar here. So, and if we have the option static mesh, we can select any static mesh that we have in our UFN project. In our case, we obviously want to use Columbo, so we're gonna click it in here. Obviously Columbo is a little bit bigger than the usual prop. And now we have Columbo inside the blueprint prop, and technically it works already. So we can just compile over here. This is super important, always compile, always save. So everything gets saved and you do not lose on anything. And we can actually click out of this. So very important, this doesn't mean that this Columbo which I put in beforehand is now a static mesh. If we actually go back into our game, so we can see that nothing happened. If I punch Columbo, he's still static mesh. It doesn't interact with anything. First things first, we have to put the blueprint class into our world. So we're just gonna drag it out, put it in. We can delete the old one if you want to, it doesn't really matter. And then we need to make sure that we push changes. These are the things that cannot instantly go into Fortnite Creative and just be there. You have to push them. So make sure you do that. Make sure that obviously everything is saved. And now we can switch back over to Fortnite and wait for it to load. If there's something new in your world, you can see this little icon. It is still uploading there. Now it's preparing and then Columbo should should spawn inside of the world in a few seconds. And now Columbo is loaded in, and if we quickly pick out a creative phone, you can see that we can take Columbo and duplicate him, do whatever we want with him. And as already said, the most important thing is that it can now actually interact with the devices inside Fortnite. But like this, Columbo doesn't do much. We haven't really changed anything or attached anything to it. So for example, if I shoot it, it still doesn't do anything. I can pick it up, yes, but I cannot like really interact with it. If we go back into UFN and we click on our Columbo, um, we can see that we will be greeted with this window now. So this this is technically just an 
easier version of the window DG. So before you can open it if you click on this little icon right here. And now we have back the, the window with the viewport. In the blueprints that I would recommend only touching the first one here, do not touch the other ones. You can actually change a few things, like for example, collision. So if you want to walk through Columbo, if, you, if your character walks through it, or things like does it have weapon collision, stuff like that, that is obviously very important. I'm obviously not going over every single thing that you can change in here. I think these are pretty self-explanatory. If you just read them, you can see what they're doing. So for example, no projectile collision obviously means that your bullets will go through Columbo, but the rest of your character will not. Also, you can change a lot of these settings in game with the prop manipulator. So you might do not even need to change them in here if you do not want to. But one thing which you definitely need to change in here are, for example, the death effects. So this is pretty cool because you can actually give Columbo, like if you destroy him, give him a little effect which spawns when it gets destroyed or or if you hit him, you can also give him death sounds. So if you want to have some funny sounds or some dying noise or something like that, you can actually attach that in here. So for example, we can add a grenade explosion. These are the given by Fortnite. You can obviously also create your custom ones. I would just recommend playing around with these settings a little bit to find out what you kind of need. On a basic level, you do not really need to change anything to convert it into a prop. Columbo is converted into a prop as soon as you put it into the blueprint. However, you can also change, for example, the building type, uh, which in this case is a prop. Um, you can change it, for example, to a trap and a floor, a corner. These obviously have their very own specific things, I, but I highly recommend just playing around with them. All right, to attach a device and to create newly added gameplay to your prop, we're going to use the prop uh, manipulator as an example here. So all you have to do for this exact device here is actually attach it close to it, kind of like that. Um, this also, same thing, works in game. This one also automatically updates. So you can see here it's attached if it's like lighting up like that. So let's just say we want to make Columbo a boss so we can kill it and then get a reward for it. Obviously, we have no animations for Columbo yet, um, and that's definitely something for a different video, but we can have it as a static mesh just sitting around and we can use it as a boss. So what we want to do for that is, for example, we modify the health. So it's a 200 health prop. Make sure that you obviously select the, the button here, click it to true, and then we can select a custom prop health. Then what we can do with this, create even more gameplay. So for example, we want to give the player a reward, like let's say spawning in a weapon. So to, for example, spawn out a weapon, we can quickly go into our Fortnite folder over here. Then we go into the weapons. And let's say we just want a scar. We're going to put it close to it. Obviously, you can customize it to your liking however you want. We just make it quick here. And then we want to make sure that this scar, so spawn the item, we want to spawn the item as soon as our Big Joe over here um, gets eliminated. But we do not want to click on Big Joe because Big Joe is just the mesh or the prop. Uh, we want to actually use our prop manipulator. And in this case, this one is a prop manipulator too. Obviously for you, you have to make sure click on it and you will see the name down here. We're gonna make sure that we spawn the item. We're gonna go down here. Then we look for prop. Manipulator 2 and the action is going to be undestroyed. So we obviously also want to make sure that our weapon doesn't spawn at the start of the game. So we already have the reward that we get from killing Columbo. Uh, so we're going to make sure that we disable this and I think we need to also enable it before we can actually spawn it. So we're going to do the same thing. Go prop mover here, prop mover 2 and then um, undestroyed enable and then spawn the item. Fortnite just crashed, so we have to just relaunch it. Doesn't really matter too much since we save obviously everything inside uh, UFN, so that shouldn't be any problem. All right, so now back in the game, you can see that our prop manipulator is obviously still attached, and we also have the gun that we spawned in. We can also quickly go in here and see if the settings actually converted over. So if we, for example, click on this, and then we can see that um, the spawn item is selected, device unknown options. Obviously, this is done inside the uh, UFN launcher. So all we need to do now is start the game and see what happens. So, all right, so now we spot the game, we can see that our weapon spawner has disappeared, the, the prop manipulator obviously did as well. And now if we shoot Columbo, we could see that Columbo would die in like 200 health and will obviously spawn, first of all, the particles that we attach to it, and then also should spawn the weapon here. So, we'll obviously take a few shots and the animation spawned, the weapon spawned, everything worked perfectly. And just like that, you created a Fortnite prop, which you used for gameplay. You can basically obviously do that with any static mesh that you can import inside UFN, obviously if it meets your requirements. And uh, that wraps up. Definitely let me know if you want to, for example, see Columbo being animated, stuff like that. I'm open for everything. Feedback in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys back in the next one.